Baby, this is good, good, good. This is what I'm talking about, Ruth. And I'm like, come on, fruit cook, yeah. I want to put my soap on, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. This is season five, episode two. Listen, this is what I'm talking about. This is good, Addie. This is good. Right, get it out of the way. We had uh, Madison and Tessa were uh, guest judges on this episode. I just want to mention it now before I forget. Nothing real. They didn't. They're just there. They were there. Cute, cute girls. They look good. Um, nothing really outstanding happened with them. They were just fans, super fans, and I'm glad they were actually there. They look really nice. So, just wanted to get that out of the way before I forget. Moving on. First things first. Juju. See, Juju makes good TV. I haven't told y'all before. Juju messy, and Juju makes for good TV. Juju admitted... Ain't nobody asked her nothing. She admitted to voting for Mayhem to go home. Baby Mayhem was upset. Do you hear me? She gave very much of... She fell right in her feelings. Like, I don't think she even had the chance or the time to even process it. When Juju said it, baby, she fell right in her feelings and was like, Bitch, Really? I thought we were better than that. And I also don't agree that I was bad and should have even been in the book. Juju was like, well, girl, she went to, to do that. Well, girl, if you felt, she said, no, let me stop. Because that's not a proper apology. Girl, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. But she wasn't sorry for the vote. Not sorry for the way that she felt. She felt as though mayhem should have been in the bottom. And she would have been the one that she voted for her gun. I said, oh, Juju. <laughs> now listen this is all stars so you know it's one thing to have that mean girl thing going and to have that I'm so real you know and it may come off bitchy but you know it just is what it is that's cute for regular drag race that ain't cute for all stars because that shit come back and bite you in your ass. Now, Juju. And I'm going to tell you all, I love me some Juju and I love me some Raven. But if you remember when their season was around, I couldn't do Juju and Raven. Raven, Juju and Raven. Juju and Raven. The two of them together, I can't stand them together. I love how they love on each other. And I love their friendship, but I don't want to have to ever deal with them as a group of friends or have to watch them as a group of friends because they are actually mean girls. And during their season, they were. They were they were mean girls. And it wasn't all that pleasing to watch to me. And I literally fell in love with them separate. You know, I was able to separate it and go with what their talent were, was because both of them are fierce queens. And as their season ended and then things moved on and they became the stars that they are, I fell in love with them individually. I love them individually. Together, mm -mm, they give me that bitchy, nasty, mean girl vibe and I ain't, I ain't with it. Not with it at all. But separate, love them down. Anyway, say all that to say this. This good TV, Juju is messy and I, 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 girl, I love you for it. You a messy bitch, Miss Juju. Moving on. Speaking of messy bitches, Cracker. Girl, how you doing, honey? Why is Miss Cracker playing a mind game with Anjana? First of all, we know Anjana is... Anjana's a gossip. That's what she is. She's like the little cute, little old lady that keeps all the shit going over at the high rise. 
That's that's who she is. You know, that people don't hate her because they know that she's actually sweet. She'll give you all the cookies from out of her house. And when you leave, she'll get on the phone and talk about your ass like a dog. <laughs> Call you a hungry bitch and all that. That's on Jana. You know, so we took offense to Cracker sitting up there, honey, going to give on Jana, you know, you, she said, uh, you weren't believing that you should actually be here, and that's a problem. I said, on John, don't fall for a girl she's trying to get in your head, honey. And everybody clocked it. Like, everybody clocked it. They were like, girl, why would she say that to her? Like, that wasn't even warranted. On John, wasn't, like, what was that all about? I said, Miss Cracker, another mean girl. Another mean girl. And she's one of those people. Cracker does have uh, um, a takeover spirit. And it showed up, you know, it showed, we've seen it in her season, but it really showed right on up in this episode. Anyway, we're going to talk about it. But she's trying to get at my on John. I said, let's see you, bitch. Anyway, Maxi Challenge is fun. It's like I, I said, oh, this is a fun one. It was writing a song to this new song, I'm in Love. And the whole spirit of the song is Celebrity Crush. So they had to get together and form groups and they had to come up with a verse, you know, tap it into who their celebrity crush is and then the choreography and the looks they had to put together themselves. Now, the teams went like this. India says she won everything last week. India got to choose. Well, she didn't know she was choosing the other team captains, but she was. Rue asked her, India, Girl, who do you think is your biggest competition here? I said, oh, Mama Rue, you being a bitch now. She said, well, Shay and Blair Sinclair. She said, good. Those are the other two team letter team leaders. I said, oh, <laughs> Rue, really? <laughs> cold, cold bloody. <laughs> no, she didn't, honey. So them the three team captains. India chose Juju and Alexis. Shay chose um, Angina and, uh, brrr, wait a minute. How did that go? Yeah, Mar Mariah. Mariah and Angina. Blair chose Cracker and Mayhem. So, right away, Cracker... Her whole takeover spirit showed right up. Like, it showed right up. Mayhem was not feeling it because she was having a deja vu. She was having a deja vu, baby, and they rolled that beautiful being footage, honey, and they was giving... She said, I, I see, I worked with this horror on the team before. And she literally overshined on purpose. And she said, that bitch got me in my season. That bitch is not going to get me again. I said, come on through, Miss Mayhem. See, listen, this is the thing. The game, it just, All-Stars carries a reality television theme to where it, child, the drama just don't stop. It's just good shit. But anyway, I said, I'm uh -uh, Cracker. And she was, she was definitely on her takeover spirit shit. So that was that. So, they did all that. Um, they worked through choreography. You know the normal stuff. I ain't going through all that. They did what they did. Child. They butted, butted heads here and there and sat at each other when they were laying their vocals. And, you know, the whole nine yards. Child Cracker was trying to take over the whole thing when they was writing up their lyrics. Bitch, write your lyrics. Don't worry about me. Sit down. I said, somebody going to scratch her face. Anyway. The runway was love the skin you're in. It got very interesting. Listen, Miss Alexis had this beautiful lamb skin gown. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It really was. Like, you had to get up on, like, really look. Because, you know, lamb lamb skin is very expensive. And it does have a stretch to it. So, when you're dealing with leather clothing, lamb is the one that will stretch a bit. So, you could actually get a really good fit and everything with it. It was really pretty. And it was like a, um, it was like a caramel color. 
and it was stoned. It, they treated it just like regular fabric. Um, whoever the designer and the seamstress was, they, they did their damn thing. It was really, really pretty. And um, they really manipulated it very well with the construction of the gown. You know, not a whole lot of seams in the way and different because the lambskins are always smaller. The, the construction of the gown was dead on, dead on, beautiful, draped, perfect. It, it just looked good. It really did. Blair Sinclair, baby, she showed up hot pink, hot pink and latex. Now, it fit her like a second skin, but there was some back and forth about Girl, that's not really your skin, and it's not an actual skin, but we always say, see, I got it, and the judges didn't fuss about it at all. It was just the girls was nitpicking, but we always say latex is like second skin. Well, that's what we say. It's always the play on word when there's a latex fashion. We always call it second skin, so I got it. She was pink. She painted herself pink. Her highlight was fuchsia and... The bitch was dusted, and then her hair was yellow. I said, Miss Thing, she really, I was here for it. It gave like a whole, like futuristic, maybe an alien or a fembot type of situation. I got it. I got where uh, Blair was going with it, and I loved it. And it did set her apart, and she looked different. I was here for it. I loved it. Y'all let me know in the comments. Did y'all get it, where, what Blair was going for, or do you think she was off? Uh, off from what the category called for. I, I was here for it. Shea kool bitch. Shea kool rolled up in there as a Nubian princess, baby. That bitch had on a cat suit that was airbrushed and rhinestone to perfection. She gave the gold uh, stack link necklace and a little tight, little nappy afro. Bitch, it was everything. Every th Nubian princess, honey. And listen, I don't know what Miss Shay been doing. I know she is, her body is like amazing at this point. She, her body is so thoroughly together. She was always, she wasn't, you know, she was built nice. But her body is like so soft now. Like, she is just giving you child cunt. She's just very, very cunty, honey. Very. And I don't know if Shay got some work in her face or what, but she, child, Miss Shay is here for... Listen. Shay was giving me very... She come across very trans. She looked very trans as opposed to boy queen. She... Soft as butter. Soft as butter. Makeup and everything. She Her highlights was very Afrocentric. And it, it was just perfect. It was just perfect. It was so good. It was so good. So good. Um, Even her outfit for the song and the performance of the song was cute as a button. You know she sews. So cute as a button. And then the bitch. Listen. Fabulous. She won. Shay won. Okay? Throughout the song and the, it, it, all her song stuff was fabulous. She won. And then she came out in another outfit that was fierce. That still went along with the Nubian princess situation for the um, the battle at the end. I will say this, Anjana. Ooh, I hated that hair on Anjana. It was ugly. It was ugly. That black hair, I thought it was too dark. I didn't like it. Didn't like the style. I would have just rather her been bald. And I know they be trying to read about her being bald all the time, but I didn't, I didn't like that wig at all. I didn't care for it. It didn't even look like on China. I was just like, who's that? I didn't like that. But anyway, so Shay was the winner. Naturally. Turned it out. Rue. I love the hair, bitch. Always. I loved her hair. That dress Rue had on. It could go in the trash can right next to Angina's wig. I said, ooh, I don't like that either. I, I didn't understand it. it. It was doing too much. It was very Rue-esque, but the fabric choices was like, 
That's a harsh posh of mess. I didn't like that at all. I didn't care for that one. Very seldom do she have addressed it. I really just think I, I didn't like that at all. I didn't care for that. But that's all right. Child's still in the room, honey. But her hair was bad. Bitch's hair was bad and her makeup was flawless. So that's that. Shay won, like I said. The bottoms was Juju, Mariah, and Anjana. Rue called all three of them for the bottom. I said, oh, shit. When they went back to delivery, Anjana offered herself up to go home. You know, she gets to crying and she's like, you know, Anjana just saying, she ain't built for this, okay? And Cracker had done gotten her head earlier and it just didn't help. So that was what it was. Some of the other girls kind of was like, come on, Anjana, now, what do you keep saying? You won't think you should be here now, right? It just was working. That's, I said, that's going to work against you, girl. Shay was very torn about the fact that she won overall. And then her teammates both ended up in the bottom. So she was team captain. She was feeling kind of like, you know, damn. But it, it was what it was. It's just all about skill set. This this one was about skill set. Shay saying, Shay writes, Shay, you know, it just is what it is. It was about skill set. What not that you did personally. India was terrified. She was terrified. Um, Cause she like, you know, she didn't feel as though she deserved to be in the bottom or anything like that, but she was just terrified. I was like, yeah, cause it's like India doesn't have um, any real alliances with anybody or anything like that. So that kind of always leaves her out there in the street as far as the deliberations and stuff. So I was like, ooh, that, yeah, that's a bad place to be. So, as Shay, you know, she did her little deliberations and stuff. She had talked to Anjana and she said, I just need you to promise me that if I were to keep you, that you won't give up. And Anjana was like, oh, yeah, I want to be here and everything like that. And, you know, it still didn't seem like she was really so solid on it, but she promised her that she would. So then it gets interesting. Baby, who was the lip sync assassin? <laughs> so I was like, oh no. I was like, Shay. <laughs> what you gonna do? Cause y'all know Alyssa that was the dance of full honey. And she performs. But Miss Alyssa showed up. You know she had her shit on her gold boots and her leather jacket and she looked cute. Very Alyssa. Very Alyssa. She looked like Carnival. Had a had her big hair. She was ready, baby. And she came in and Child, I like to be some of Lisa Edwards. Lisa Edwards bring the party, child. So I was like, well, Shay, you got your work cut out for you, sis. So I knew it was going to be a high energy song. But that's okay, because Shay can dance and Shay can perform. So I said, she'll hold her own, but we're going to see what goes down. Because remember, there's 20K. Because the money carried over from last time. Baby, it was the Neutron dance from the Pointer Sisters. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. Guess what? Shay's look was working in her favor, totally working in her favor, and she was on it. On it, she performed down. She performed, she neutron danced down. And Alyssa, for some reason, I don't know if it's, it was like she could she performed. Now, trust and believe, if Alyssa was put on stage and did the performance she did in a bar, at a gay bar, or any bar, you don't have to be a gay bar. Just in a bar period because people love the Pointer Sisters. She, baby, she would rack up in tips. She would turn the bar and she would rack up in tips. But she couldn't... Could, it was like it wasn't in her wheelhouse of things, you know. And she couldn't get hold of it. Listen, she couldn't get hold of it because Shay had it by the throat, honey. Shay was hucklebucking and sliding and carrying on and doing all... And busting splits and... And it wasn't an overkill... Shay turned it out, baby, and walked right on the way with that 20K. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She took that 20K and went right on. She's so humble. So excited, you know, to win. I was like, oh, come on, Shay. And then the elimination, she eliminated on Jana. But I agree. I agree. And I love on Jana. It's time to go. It's time to go. You're not cut out for this. The only thing that you cut out for is the gossip part when we in there getting painted. 
Now, you you good for that, bitch. Walking from station to station and keeping up shit, little old lady, honey, with your gossip, you good for that. But this other part of this, baby, you not cut for this. You did what you, what you came to do. You put yourself back on the map and let people know where you were, who you were, and that you deserve to be respected as building this brand. You did what you came to do. It's time to go home, mama. Ain't no problem. It still loves me some on China. Good night, Aunt China, honey. Shay, bitch, work. Work, honey. Listen, it was good. I'll catch y'all next week. This Y'all know All-Stars. Y'all know what All-Stars gives, honey. We're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm.